What up, folks? I'm UltraZilla, and today I have a review of the Transformers Rise of the Beasts. It's Optimus Primal and Skull Cruncher. Uh, it's the Beast Alliance. It's an alliance between beasts. The Beast Combiner 2-Pack. That's right. It's a Beast Combiner 2-Pack, because uh, that's what it does. There's a Skull Cruncher in here. He doesn't turn into a robot, but he does turn into some armor for this pretty simplistic Optimus Primal. It's, I, it's you know, I, I, I guess it's mid-range type of figure like you know kind of for kids but i guess you know um more you know collectors could get it whatever you know i think it's somewhere in the middle uh, of uh you know it's not kitty it's not a uh, collector it's in the middle and a lot of these movie toys usually have that um this is the only one i really really wanted but i, th I might be convinced to get more i i got this on amazon but if i see some in store which i haven't yet um, you know, I might get it depending on the look. You know, this was the one of these types of toys that I, I kind of wanted to check out right away because that Skull Cruncher looks like awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I don't even care about anything else. And I love Optimus Primal, but I love how that Skull Cruncher looks. So without any further ado, let's get to the review. And before we continue and I trash this box, um, I do want to point out the back of this box is pretty cool. I, I do uh, like all these like hieroglyphics looking stuff or early cave drawings, which I think is probably what it is. The rest of the box is not much to talk about, but that, that's cool. And here they are out of the package and, you know, for gimmick figures, they're okay. They're okay. I think Skull Cruncher is actually pretty cool, just as Skull Cruncher alligator dude. But first, let's look at Optimus Primal. And uh, he's got like ball jointed shoulders for some motion. I can't go all the way out without probably taking the arm completely out. He's got no elbows, and um, that's a bummer. That is a real bummer. He's got ball jointed legs there, which I, as you can see, Splits fully, goes back, goes that way, a little bit of rotation. Nice deep knee because it's all hollow in the back. Uh, and then uh, the foot is very deep as well. There's no ankle rocker though. Very simple articulation. It is a what it is. The head sculpt though is actually pretty nice. I do like it. I think that's a pretty good Optimus Primal, honestly. You know what I'm saying? That looks pretty neat. Very good head sculpt. You know, the blue looks good. Black in the middle looks good. The eyes done in a metallic blue looks good. The mouth and silver. Yeah, not bad. The chest is painted nicely. You got maximal symbol there. Red in the middle looks pretty good. The blue around that. You know, this is painted over here in gray. Which is funny because the rest of it is kind of gray. Uh, but it's painted. The rest of the body looks pretty good done in like a gun metal here not bad then you got some brown in here some more of this like kind of base gun metal -y color here with a decent sculpt decent sculpt on the legs paint on the knees look really nice actually more sculpt down here for the robot legs looks pretty good and then you got the uh feet there you got like robot feet in the back but you can't do anything with them pretty much kind of robot feet i don't know sometimes they are robot feet i, I kind of prefer my primal to um just have the gorilla feet all the time anyway um and i, I forget if that's how it's supposed to go right now but what else they look good um the sculpt is decent again hollowness on the back but you do get some fur detail back here fur detail back here some decent detail on the back of the arms that's pretty cool on both sides on the side of the arms, you get the blue paint there, which looks really nice. Wherever there's paint, it's clean, and that's good. Going out to the arms here, the hands, they look really nice. On this side, very good sculpt. I do like it. As you can see, the color difference is here. You know, for detail, is like this kind of light brown. It's not bad. It's not bad. All of that looks pretty decent, you know? I, you know, I, I, it's not a bad looking primal. Um, and I think the, the proportions aren't terrible either. His arms are a little long, but he's a gorilla guy. 
So that's okay. It's just, I would, if there was Elb, and he's got hollowness in the outside here. It's the type of figure it is, guys. Uh, I think if he had elbow uh, bend, he'd be pretty awesome. But right now, uh, I don't know. That really bothers me because I, I, I don't know. There should always just be some, I think. But I get it. I get it. He's pretty solid. There's no loose parts or anything, so that's cool. I have to transform this guy. I'm not going to bother doing any, like, transformation video thing, because all you do is uh, open up the chest, turn this around, pop it back in, <laughs> then do this, then do this, then do this, then do that, and uh, move the feet forward, and you got Primal in his Gorilla mode, which definitely, to me, looks better. Uh, I do like it. You know, you get all the same chest. Well, you get you get a different chest, obviously. Painted gray. Really cool, actually. I, I, I dig the chest. Very nicely done. Um, and a different head. Obviously, you get the gorilla head. The Rise of the Beast gorilla head. And uh, I like it. I think it's really, really nice. You got the silver brows, the eyes in blue again. Really nice. You can see it's kind of beady, but they didn't paint the pupils. I wish they did. That would have been cool. I kind of dig that you see the back of Primal's head back there. There's a little bit of color. Um, but the neck looks really good. You know, I, I dig it. I think it's pretty nice. Everything else pretty much stays the same. You know, the arms, the legs are in a different position. But, you know, I dig it. You know, you still got the back furry back and stuff. So nothing really changes there. But I think this mode just kind of looks cooler in my opinion and then you do that and you got a little gorilla that's for a skull cruncher this guy looks awesome he's got a little bit of articulation the arms and the legs move a bit you know you're hindered a little bit on this side because of this thing but you know you can move her around it it is what it is oh this thing opened up uh and then the tail because this comes out can turn around uh the mouth does not open and close unfortunately However, that said, this is awesome. I love how this looks. Now, he doesn't change into a robot at all, but I love this. This is an awesome, awesome robot alligator, crocodile, whatever he is. Uh, I forget the, how to, to tell the difference. I think it's a crocodile. <laughs> I think alligators have longer snouts, but I could be wrong about that. And the sculpt could be just whatever soft. He's got nice yellow eyes, which is awesome. I love this metallic, like, gold. It's kind of like a green gold. Beautiful. Beautiful sculpt there. Really, really nice. The rest of the crock head looks awesome. Top part. You got the gun in the mouth, which looks really, really good. The teeth are fine. Bottom here. Not much to look at. Not much to look at at all on the bottom. A little bit of sculpt work over here. But a little bit of sculpt. It's very little. The legs are decent. No pain on the legs. But, you know, you get sufficient croc to robot <laughs> uh, equation there. So that's pretty good. Um, I, I like I like it. Back legs look good, too. The tail has that awesome paint at the end, which is super cool. I really like that paint. That's beautiful. So really nice tail. Uh, and then going up the body, you got a different color green here for some nice color separation. Uh, and that's cool. I mean, it looks good. The lighter green goes well with the darker green. It fits, man. It fits. There's not a lot of paint here. I mean, this is not paint. This is just a different plastic color. But the different plastic colors work. And then you get these beautiful hints of this green gold on the front and the back. And I absolutely love that. Nice sculpt detail on the sides. So, yeah, and the back. I like this guy. I really do. I think it looks really, really awesome. This is uh, the clear winner of the set as far as the two separate figures go. But did they look good together? Let's find out. Right, gang. So to uh, transform and combine these, or combine these, whatever you want to call it. Um, gotcha! A little gotcha! You do need to get this guy back in a two um, robot mode. So there you go. We're back into, <laughs> into robot mode. Uh, so put them down. This guy comes here. Basically, all you're really doing is, see these? 
you're popping them into these holes on the shoulder. That's basically it. Uh, and then you're gonna flip this down. You're gonna flip the legs all the way up. Although I think they're gonna go further up in a second. You could take out the tail now. Uh, you could also take out the top of the crock head. And then if you just push this all the way down, that's it. It's well, this is supposed to come down. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Sometimes it's, it's better to. Oh, oh, now we got an issue here. Now we got an issue. Hmm, I think this was supposed to go down. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. That stays up. My bad. I almost broke it then. So that goes down. This is now his new head. Uh, this is his sword. Pop that in there. Sword. Sword! Uh, this part here, you're going to put on his shoulder like that. And uh, yeah. Uh, then he's got this. That opens like this. And it's a gun arm. See, you expose the full gun. It's kind of cool. Kind of cool. And then over here, you got a sword. Again, elbows would have helped. You know? Uh, and then you got all this detail up in the center. Crocodilian. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the part that matters, the head sculpt. It's pretty cool. I really do like it. Yellow eyes, gold above that, gold in uh, the middle there. The silver mouth still, but yeah, it looks very cool, very different. But you know, Optimus Primal esque. I do like it. I think it's it's neat. Uh, definitely better like this than Primal on his own. Uh, that is for sure. But it also kind of looks like you know, it's it's just like too much going on up top, in my opinion. You know, uh, and it would be cool if these connected. So you could just do everything together, but that's not a big deal. You could just do that. Uh, but yeah, elbows, 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 elbows. This guy, this is what it looks like in the back. Uh, not much to look at. Um, elbows for days. My son, Ultrazilla Jr., really likes this. Uh, so mission accomplished there, Hasbro. Uh, I think that's the, the goal for these is, you know, more for the kids. And I think kids is his age. He is nine, you know, like, I think, I think it, 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 it works for him, you know, it's, it's pretty cool, uh, and I would say younger kids, too, and, you know, slightly older kids, um, but, you know, for a collector as my, like myself, I just think it's neat anyway, it's a cool little gimmick figure, I absolutely love Skull Cruncher, um, but, you know, all of this, it's, it's all right, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind and of for your size comparisons, first up here is Optimus Cruncher with um, a very reptilian, very crocodilian NECA Godzilla 2001 and Akon because, um, you know, you know why. And here it is with a couple of uh, knockoff, knockoff primals and skull crunchers. Yeah, yeah, that's what they are. And here it is with a couple of uh, the recent Transformers I've uh, done on the channel. Um, yeah, and you can see he's, he's a little guy. He's like a deluxe scale guy, all combined. And my final thoughts, on their own, these guys are, are pretty neat. Optimus Primal is okay. I like him in Gorilla Mode. Not so much in Robot Mode. Skull Cruncher is amazing. I think this looks phenomenal. I really, really like it. Yeah, it can't do a lot, but it looks great. And I, I just feel like even if I don't keep these long term, but I think I will because I like this and, you know, I like primals and I'll probably keep them. Um, I don't think the combination looks that great. Uh, honestly, I think kids will like it. My kid does. I said that multiple times here, but my kid does. So that is a good, good thing. Um, and that's what these are for, honestly. That's what these are for. So if you dig that, uh, if you're down with that, getting your kid these, awesome they'll enjoy it uh for yourself as a collector uh, you know maybe not i i order pre-ordered this one because i really wanted this particular set because i really liked how this looked 
So I, I wanted to check it out. As far as the rest, and there's a lot showing up now. I haven't seen any in person yet, but there's a lot showing up in store. Um, it's for me personally, it's going to be a, you know, uh, when I see it in store, if I think it looks cool, I might get it. Uh, cause I'm not going full in on all of this stuff. You know, I, j I just want to pick and choose some that I think look cool and look fun. Uh, first and foremost, because you know, that's what it's all about for me. I'm not, you know, here to complete everything or to show you guys every single thing from every single line. That's just not how I work. But these are cool. I think they're worth getting. And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time. Peace out, peeps.